here we are back for more exciting lectures over gravity flow IVs or whatever you want to call those things hand calibrated IV sets manual IV sets how about this one first now we encountered something similar in the previous material I mean for last week we have one gram of some kind of medicine whatever it is in 800 milliliters of normal saline stop all I care about is how many milliliters per hour I'm giving. I know how many milliliters, 800 milliliters, I'm going to give it for six hours. I don't need to know how much medicine, and I know I need to know so in the real world I can put the right amount of medication in my 800 milliliter bag. But for doing the math, it doesn't matter how much medicine I've got there. I can have no medicine, I can have two grams, I can have whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. It still ends up what? I've got 800 milliliters to give for six hours. Now you'll notice also, I didn't put the form of the V over T times C equals R, but you've got that in your notes. Come on. You've been doing three or four of these already. If you hadn't watched the previous videos, don't do this one yet. Oh, that's like going from first grade and skipping second, third, and fourth and going to fifth grade. That's not going to work. So go back and watch the other ones if you have not. And you have that formula in your notes. V over T times C equals R. V over T times C equals R. You got that. Okay. But V is the milliliters per hour. So I need to know how many milliliters per hour. Well, let's see. Milliliters is 800 over how many hours? Six hours. Well, whatever that is. Here I am again. 800 divided by 6. Well, wow, that's 133.33333. So 133.3, 100, you got, okay? 133.33333. That is the V. Wow, okay. 133. whatever, whatever. That's V. Next is T. T is always the number 60. If you don't have this by now, you might want to consider going into a different field. You know, don't go into nursing, go into something easy like, you know, trash collecting, something like that, okay? Uh, basket weaving, so uh, coach, something like this. Okay, that's over what? 60. It's always the number 60. Now multiply by the calibration, the drop factor. That's going to be told to you in the homework and on the quiz. In the real world, it's stamped on the label of the IV set. 10, that's the number of drops per milliliter times 10. Well, here we go again. The number here will always cancel out the 60, make a whole number. 10 goes into 60. No, oh, come on in your head. That makes that six, come on. Okay, so the only math I have left is 133.3, which is already in my calculator still. Again, don't round this off and use it in the next calculation. Leave it as it is, it's still there. If it blanked out, okay, okay. Then divide that number by six. And the answer is 22.22222222. So nearest whole number is 22. I count 22 drops per minute. That's all I'm doing. Just to prove it to you. You could take that 133.33333 and divide it by 60, then times 10. And what do you get? 22.22222. Or you could do the 133 point whatever, 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 times 10 first, then divided by 60. It's the same stinking answer. I'm sorry, this same answer, but the other way's easier. Just always cancel this out with this and make some whole number and everything's really simple. Well, let's do another one, okay? I'll remember from last week's stuff we had this stuff using what's called a syringe pump. It's a small amount of liquid in a big old syringe. And you give it for some fairly short length of time, usually less than one hour. Well, here I'm giving 40 milliliters of some kind of medicine, use it as medicine, not just liquid, for 30 minutes. Now, I still need to know the milliliters per hour. Well, we learned earlier, how do you do this when it's less than one hour? If you take the milliliters, 40, 40 milliliters and divide by the minutes. Oh my goodness. When you do that, that's the milliliters per minute. Well, if I did take that 40 
divided by 30, well, that's 1.33, but that's the milliliters per minute. I need milliliters per hour. So how do you convert milliliters per minute into milliliters per hour? You multiply that number by 60. You just say times 60, and that's 80. So what I did, I did all that just to find V in my formula. So V is the number 80. Now you might have just done this in your head. If you're doing 40 milliliters for 30 minutes, that's a half an hour, of course, at the end of 30 minutes, you have 40 milliliters in your little syringe, your big syringe, the machine pushes it out, it's gone. So you finished your IV, the syringe is empty, the 30 minutes, they're over with, but if you did keep it up longer, if you did keep it up another 30 minutes, another half an hour, at the end of a whole hour, you give twice the 40, right? You give 80, so sometimes you think these out in your head, sometimes they're harder, but make sure you know how to do them this way. You take the milliliters divided by the minutes, but then you multiply by 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour. Okay. So all I've done so far, all that to say, that's V. I did all that to find V. So the less than one hour stuff, a little harder, but that's V over what's T going to be? Always the number 60. Could you hear me? It's always the number 60. Okay. But then what's the calibration? What is the drop factor? 20, I multiply by 20, well don't really multiply by 20, because what I'll do for my math is, 20 goes into 60 three times, the only math I need to do at this point is 80 divided by three, which is 26.6666, okay. Now 26.6666, nearest whole number, who is 27? So I'm gonna count, 27 drops per minute. Let's look at this. You'll see some of these on the homework and in the quiz. This is, it's so simple, it's almost embarrassing. Uh, you're supposed to give 125 milliliters per hour of normal saline with a 15 drop per milliliter IV set. Now realize this. Up to now in the first couple of videos in this one, you had to do some math to calculate V the milliliters per hour, that's V. Here, it's just told to you directly. So you may be on some of these problems just told what V is. I don't do any math to find V, I'm already told. V is 125. Now, wasn't that easy? T, yeah, I know, it's gonna be 60. And what is the calibration? What's the drop factor? 15. That go by too fast? No, you're told what V is. You don't even have to do math to find that. You know 60 is always that. You're told what this is, and the math is 15 goes into 60 four times. Hope you knew that. The only thing to do now is take 125 and divide it by 4, 31.25. What does that round off to as a whole number? Uh, 89, no, 31.25 is 31. The answer is 31. I think you're maybe getting the hang of this. Yes, no, yeah, okay, good. If you don't, then watch it again. It's fun anyway. The first time, be more fun the second time around.